Are you looking for the best AI podcast generators right now? And no, I'm not just referring to Notebook LM. There are some other tools that I'm going to share with you in this video, including one that can clone your own voice. So be sure to stick around until the very end. So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan, and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I'm using for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for that below this video. But now let's get back to the best AI podcast generators. So the first AI podcast generator I'm going to cover is the popular Notebook LM. And the reason I'm covering this one first is because it's 100% free to use. The other tools I'm going to be covering do require payment if you wanna get the highest quality outputs. And so Notebook LM, all you need is a Google account to get started. And if you visit notebooklm.google, click try Notebook LM, you can get started immediately. I already have a workbook here ready to go. And if you've never heard of Notebook LM or you're new to this, I do have a separate tutorial. And by the way, guys, I'll leave all the references that I mentioned in the video description below so you can easily get started with this. But this is what Notebook LM looks like from the inside. And so what you can do is upload any source that you want from the internet. As you'll see on the left, I've done that. And then this example, the topic that I'm trying to create a podcast for is called Chat GPT Hacks. So I've uploaded three references or three sources on this particular topic. All you need to do is click add source. You can add a URL, a YouTube video. You can copy and paste text. You can uh, input anything from Google Drive, whether that's Google Slides, Google Docs. You can upload a PDF file. You can upload an MP3 file. There's all sorts of things you can do with this. And so once you upload your sources on the right-hand side, you'll see audio overview. This is the AI podcast feature. And you'll see I've already created one, but if you haven't created one, you would just click generate and then it would take a couple minutes to create. So if you've never heard this output before, I'm going to play this really quickly so you can see what it sounds like. All right. So you want to go deep on ChatGPT, huh? Looks like it. I mean, you've sent me a whole stack of articles and even a Reddit thread that's just buzzing. Yeah, it seems like you're really trying to get the most out of this thing. Absolutely. Going. So you'll see by default, it's a male voice and a female voice, and you can't download a file with your own voice in it. That is the biggest limitation of using Notebook LM for AI podcasts. But what you can do is you can share this file if you want. You can come in here and download it as a WAV file, but you'll notice here there's this interactive mode. So this is where I'm now able to chime into the conversation, and I'm going to show you what this looks like. So if I click interactive mode and I click play, it'll play the typical audio that I just played for you. Keep on chat GPT, huh? Looks like it. I mean, you've sent me a whole stack of articles and you but now you'll see there's a join option. So I'm going to click join and I can actually join this AI podcast. Yeah, it seems like you really, oh, our listeners got something to share. Let's hear it. What's going on, guys? You got any good chat GPT hacks for me? Hey, yeah, we're just getting started, actually. Absolutely. You came at the perfect time. We've got tons of hacks. Okay, so to kick things off, both articles we were looking at. They, they emphasize that prompts are the key. Oh, for sure. So you see, that was just a quick example. But like I just mentioned, if I go back to the studio, unfortunately, if I click download, you can't download a file with your voice in it. So that interactive mode that I just did, you can't actually download the file with your voice. And that is the biggest limitation right now. But still, if you're looking for a free AI podcasting platform, if you don't mind those default voices of the man and the woman, and you just want to create some sort of AI podcast, Notebook LM is the generator in place where I would start. So the next AI podcast generator I want to cover is Jellypod. And I did a full in-depth review of Jellypod. I'd recommend watching that video in the description below for more details, as what I'm about to show you here is pretty high level. But with Jellypod, what I really like about this is there's more customization when it comes to AI podcasts than what you could do with just a Notebook LM. And you can come over to the website, you can uh, listen to some examples, you can watch some demo videos. By the way, the founder was really awesome to work with as well. He's a great guy. So I'd recommend checking out this tool, just exploring on the free plan. And if we click up to pricing, it's the freemium model. So you can start with a free account. You are very limited in credits on the free account. So if you really want to get the most out of this platform, I'd recommend going with the starter plan for $29 a month. And of course, if you don't like it, you can just cancel it. But I'd recommend giving Jellypod a shot if you are in need of an AI podcasting solution. 
And I will say, though, what's cool about the free plan on JellyPod is you do get unlimited hosts, episodes, you get some premium host voices, RSS feed distribution, and you can also create a voice clone even on the free plan. And if I pull up my dashboard, you'll see I have my Ryan Dozer voice clone. So I'm actually going to play a little bit of this. So if I click it, I'm going to play a little bit of this. So you guys can hear what it sounds like. Join me as we dive into the fascinating world of Bitcoin and blockchain, where innovation meets opportunity. Let's explore how these technologies are reshaping industries and empower. So not bad. And in the review of JellyPod, I show you how to create a voice clone in the platform. But what I also like about JellyPod is it's very easy to navigate around the dashboard. They have two options here for hosts. So I obviously have my voice clone. You can create more clones at another host. And then if I click podcast, this is where I actually created my AI podcast with JellyPod. Uh, by the way, I used ChatGPT to basically come up with the ideation for all of this. I used it to generate the cover image here, the title, the description, all the episode titles, episode outlines. So I'd recommend pairing this with ChatGPT or Claude if you're actually going to build an AI podcast. You'll see I published two episodes here, and it's very easy to create a new podcast episode in JellyPod. All you need to do is click new episode. And what I like is they have an AI assistant for ideation. If you can't think of an episode, what to do, you can use their little assistant here to snap the writer's block, or you can click start with a blank episode outline and go through here and add chapters, give it an episode title description. You can do chapter titles, add bullet points for each chapter. I really just like this outline. They make this process very easy of creating episodes. What's also cool here is if I go back and click distribution options, they give you an RSS feed for free. Obviously, if you're trying to grow a podcast, you need an RSS feed. Now you can go ahead and integrate it with Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube. You have to be on a more premium plan to do that. Maybe on the first plan, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But you do have to be on some sort of paid tier in order to access all of these different options. But regardless, even on the free plan, you still get an RSS feed. So overall, JellyPod isn't a bad tool at all, and I'd recommend giving it a shot just on the free plan if you guys are curious about this. It does deliver higher quality results than Notebook LM. I really like how you can create your voice clone even on the free tier, but you will be very limited. So again, check this out on your own time, and you can see if JellyPod is the right AI podcasting solution for you. Now, another AI podcasting tool I'm excited to share with you is Eleven Labs. And if I'm being honest, I do think this is the best solution right now when it comes to quality AI podcasts. And if you've never heard of Eleven Labs, they're a very popular software. They say here, pioneering research in text-to-speech, AI voice generator, and more. This is one of the most popular tools out there when it comes to AI audio and text-to-speech technology. And if we click pricing, they technically do have a free plan, but then important thing to call out here is if you want to get a professional voice clone, you must be on the creator plan. And to get the highest quality results possible, this is what you need. So if I were you and you want to try this, I'd recommend getting the creator plan for a month. They do have 50% off. You can find the link in the description below, or you can get started for only $11. And if you don't like it after a month before it goes up to $22, simply click cancel and try to find a better solution. And this is what the 11 Labs dashboard looks like once you create an account. And what's really cool about this, if I click voices, notice here is my Ryan Dozer AI voice clone. This is the professional voice clone that I was alluding to. So I'm going to play you a quick sample of this and let me know what you guys think. Her sureness was based on the power to limit experience arbitrarily. Her sureness, that is probably the best voice clone software that I have heard yet. There are others out there claiming to do the same things, but when it comes to actually cloning a voice, Eleven Labs is the highest quality option out there right now. So let's say you want to create an AI podcast with that. And by the way, guys, I have a separate tutorial showing you how to do this inside Eleven Labs. You can find that video in the description below. But on the left-hand side, if we click projects, you'll notice there's this option called Gen FM. This is where you can create a podcast podcasts inside 11 labs. If we click that, you can do a host voice, guest voice, whatever. I'd watch the other video for uh, instructions on how to set this up. But once your podcast is created, you can come down here into projects and then you can go in here and start messing around with things. So you can do solo podcasts. If you just want to do solo podcasts in your own AI voice clone, that's what I've done. You can do a guest podcast with another one of their default voices that 11 labs has created. What's really awesome about this 
is you can download this, upload it into a tool like HeyGen, and you can create realistic AI avatars using the professional voice clone that you just got with Eleven Labs. And with video podcasting being the future, this is really the holy grail right here is creating an AI podcast audio on Eleven Labs using your voice clone. And by the way, you can use Claude or ChatGPT to help you with the script and also ideas. And then once you're done in Eleven Labs, you can convert this into an MP3 file, come over to a tool like HeyGen to create an AI video avatar, upload the Eleven Labs MP3 file, and now you have your own AI video clone that you can use to scale a video podcast. I'm going to play a quick example of this so you can see what it looks and sounds like. Welcome back. I'm Ryan Dozer. And today I'm breaking down my favorite AI tools for marketing in 2025. These tools have become essential for my workflow, saving time and driving results. So it's not perfect. The lips are moving kind of funny. And, and But if you didn't know that this was AI, it might be pretty hard to tell. And I do have a separate tutorial showing you how to create these AI video clones in HeyGen. But I just wanted to play that quick example for you so you can see what you can use Eleven Labs for. So those were my top three AI podcast generators, Notebook LM, JellyPod, and Eleven Labs. And just as a quick little bonus tool, if you guys have never heard of it, this is called Google Illuminate. You can find this inside Google Labs, the same place where you can find Notebook LM. This is a free tool offered by Google that can play AI-generated audio discussions based on some of these academic sources that they have. But if you come over to the left and click Generate, you can search or you can paste in a URL or search for any topic. So I'm gonna do chat GPT in this example just to see what we can come up with. If I can, if I can type here, I'm gonna click chat GPT and you'll notice here these are all like academic sources or I'm not sure exactly where they're getting these from. But if I click this case study as an example, click add, what this is going to do is that's now added. So I can add more than one source it looks like. You can define your audio dialogue, formal, guided, free form. Uh, if I click free form, you get all these options of host you can add a prompt if you want to add a prompt to more customize the output. But I'm just going to do casual and I'm going to click generate. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and play it. So I'm going to wait a little bit and then come back when this is done. All right. So now let's see what this example sounds like. Conferences. Exactly. They looked at reviews from uh, ICLR, NEUR, IPS, C so what's really cool about this tool, Google Illuminate, is they actually have the podcast transcript here. Notebook LM, they don't provide you with the transcript. You have to go to another tool like Descript or something like that, upload the audio file, and get the transcript that way. So this is really cool that you can just get a transcript right here. Obviously, the limitation of using Google Illuminate is you can't upload your own sources. So that would be the benefit of using Notebook LM versus Google Illuminate when it comes to AI podcasting. So now I want to hear what you guys have to say on this topic of AI podcast generators. I'm sure there will be new tools by the time you're watching this video. So if there are other options that I missed, please let me know in the comments below and I'll go ahead and check those out. But if you've made it this far into the video, first of all, I really appreciate you. And if you found value in this topic, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification to find more videos like this in the near future. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day day.